So when I was coming into the workshop, I had different ideas. And unfortunately, I myself, I could see myself also some of the, one of those who used to stigma. This work is one of my first work I did on that from starting from the Wednesday that we started the practical of this workshop, which I tried to bring out us to reach out to show affection, to show love, care, and support to those people who are living with HIV AIDS. When you look at this, all this one by one represent human being. Being a doctor, being a lawyer, being a military, being a, a, a imam or pastor or anything that you can be, a student or anything. And the only one person at this middle was the only person who was living with HIV. And when you look at this bottle, I titled, I put this bottle there because they have what they call ARV, which was those things that every the whole world now knows as what can able to give them more life, let their life be stable. And because when the advert was always done, it's like you see people on the TV having bones, skeleton, somehow like that. But now when you see them taking these drugs, they look healthy. It's hardly for you to know who is living with HIV or who is not, which is with and without. That is what this work is all about. It's with and without. And when you look at these ropes, you can see that it started from the person living with HIV and it spread its wings all around. And when you look at this, it's each of people here putting their hands, joining themselves together and holding him, embracing her and holding her like, we are part of you. We are one. And that is unity. I must say that this workshop has really helped me to understand much, much more about HIV than I thought I knew. When I came, well, I came with a little knowledge, but I must say that I'm living with much more and I'm making every effort not to be a stigmatizer, not only to people who've got HIV, but to anybody at all. I'm learning that there's no need to stigmatize people. My first work was depicting a question mark. It was a very big question mark, which had so many people inside it. The whole idea was that, who are you to judge? And that was a big question mark. I mean, who am I to judge? Who are you to judge? Who are we to judge? somebody who is HIV positive. We had a lot of um, activities and interactions. The one who was teaching us would just ask us to do certain things to keep us away. So we learned some games and one of them, when she says me one, you embrace yourself. When she says me two, you find someone to embrace. When she says me three, you try and embrace three people. Me four and so on and so forth. So from this I got this idea of me three, like three people embracing. And it still comes back to the same idea. You cannot get the virus by embracing a person living with HIV. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming to this exhibition tonight. This workshop started last two weeks when we started with the Stigma Training Project. And after the two days, we had eight days of art making, if I should put it that way, with the ideas that we've put forward about trying to minimize or even stamp away um, stigma in our society, these works will speak to you directly or indirectly so that we can make a step forward in the right direction by putting this out of our society. Thank you all for coming and enjoy your evening.
Stop stigma. Celebrate life. Join these artists in the fight. Thank you.